Hello, fuck Roonies. It's the Archibald. It's the Chesterfield. It's the AC fucking three. That's right, fuckers. I'm broadcasting uh, live from Australia. And uh, this is Friday night in America because, let's face it, we're results orientated. And this is what we want to do. We want to. Um, got a spruik, 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 fuckers, spruik, corporate world, and I'm uh, just having some, some nuts, nuts, pistachios, and I got some cashews for breakfast. Fuck weight loss. We'll reboot that fucker when I come back from singers. Singers? Yes, guys. I'm going to Singapore. And um, I'm going end of June. I'll be there for a few days. I'm very, very fortunate. I got no money. I'm broke as pocus. <clears throat> Super Collector Dave is flying me there business class. Um, and uh, we're staying at an expensive hotel. So... If anyone in Singapore wants to catch up, I'm available. Of course, you'd need to also buy Dave dinner, a meal. Of course, I can't ditch him after he's paid for my fucking ticket, can I? Can I? It's rude to ditch him. So, um, you let me know. Let me know. Let me know, fuckeroonies. Okay, we've got some super chats coming in fast and furious. We've got Bursa, $2. Would you punch your dad for a protect chronograph? No, I love my dad. Dad's a cool guy. I'm not punching anyone. Blue shirt Buddha, five bucks. Bravo to Bear Clooney Watchers for his excellent video earlier today. Laying the case against the rodent. Well done, Bear. I saw that video this morning. I immediately picked up the phone and rang Bear Clooney personally and said, Bear, can I please put that on my channel? I'm going to be putting links to his channel, giving some traffic. That video was fucking amazing. He, he nailed it. I could do 100 videos and not nail it like Bear. That was fucking to the point. Very, very cool video indeed. So, um, Bear, well done. Well done indeed, Bear. And I'll be featuring that on my channel. The other interesting video, Bursa, $2. Worst case, carpet beetles or rodents? Oh, definitely rodents. Carpet beetles, they're below the scene. As long as you keep your shoes on, you're fine. Rodents are fucking dangerous. NV Scotsman, three bucks. The rat showed his six pack. Show us yours, AC3. I need a bit more than three bucks, NV Scotsman. I need more than a fucking three lousy dollars. That's for sure. By the way, I just filmed a Life in the Day of Archie Luxury video this morning. There'll be. On my channel today, okay. Hmm. So, um, what's going on, guys? Talk to me. Talk to me. Talk to me. I'm flying to Singers. Very. Dave wanted me to go. What happened was, I'll tell you the story. Okay. I rang up Paddock Dealer. I need. I need to buy an extra long paddock strap. I said to Dave, fuck. The only place that's got them is Singapore. On my, my white gold Calatrava. I need an extra long one. And I got to tell you, Dave said, why don't we go there end of the month? And I said, why not? Let's go. I said, I'm broke. That's why not, Dave. He said, I'll fly you there. No worries. Business class okay with you? 
Man's got to do what a man's got to do. But um, a lot of really nasty Singaporeans. They're fucking vicious. They're really rude. They want to meet up just with me so they don't have to buy a meal for Dave. That's rude. And if I got a lady friend in tow, I expect you to fucking be polite and uh, pay for her meal too. That's the way it works, fuckers. Vin Tignier. Come on, Vin. What are you doing, man? Come on. Get on. Monsignor Neo, 10 bucks. Hello, humanity. I'm going to be at a jazz club tonight and listening to the St. Anley Clark. Drink up, Paul. I wouldn't mind a scotch. Yes, I will. Why is the 36 mil Prezi too small but not the paddock? Paddock's 37 mils. I never said 36 was acceptable for a man. I never said that. Wait for it. I got the Tudor Black Bay with blue bezel. It's my first watch. Great watch. I just bought a Black Bay. Haven't paid for it yet. Dave's sort of financing it. Blue shirt Buddha. Your thoughts on the new 37 mil Zenith El Primo? 37 or 38, Blue shirt? Just confirm that. Yankee Doodle. Anyone joining Arch and Sing? Not yet. They're all cheap bastards. I made a video I posted on the Archie Luxury channel. They want to meet me, but they don't want to meet my fucking entourage. What the fuck is that? Nasty fuckers, that's what they are. Very nasty. And um, I'm going to show you my watch collection. That's the four I've got at the moment. I'm going to put these in the bank safe because I'm going to singers. I can't leave them at home. No way in the world. I got a. They're going in the bank safe, so. I'm taking the paddock because I'm getting the strap for it. Blue shirt. 37 mil. Let's have a look, blue shirt. It's a bit fucking small. I got 38. They had a 38, didn't they? I thought the El Primero... Chrono Meister, El Primero was 38 mils. Uh, I like the 42 because I'm a fat fucker. That's why I'm a big, extra large guy. For me, the 42 works. The 38 is more in line with the original. They're both cool. They're both very cool. Thomas Crown, five bucks. Hey, Arch, are you coming to the stage? Craig Durham and I want to take you out and show you a good time. America is expensive. That's the problem. And I, I got to look after the kids still. I pick them up. So it's hard for me to take a long period of time off. <coughs> Asia, I can go for four or five days. America, you've got to stay two weeks. Yankee Doodle, how's the weight loss program going? Munch, munch, munch. We'll have to reboot. It hasn't gone fucking well at all. I've had a few setbacks, emotional and mental setbacks, okay? Blue Shirt Buddha. 50th anniversary edition. Okay. Ah, oh, okay. Um, fuck, 50th anniversary edition, Jesus Christ. Um, just calling it up now. Let's get this baby on the screen. I got to be completely frank and honest with you. I love Zenith. 
But you know what, guys? Zenith is fucking terminal shit. Okay? Zenith is fucking terminal. This is the 50th El Primero anniversary. It says it's 38 mils. Where's the 37? Tell me that. Tell me that, fuckers. Let's have a look. Just go to our site here. We'll have a look. This is a fucking... I like the... Look at the second hand there. Very cool. Very cool. Uh, I like it. It looks beautiful. It's beautiful. It's absolutely... Fuck. Beautiful. Look at the... Plastic movement on that fucker. It's beautiful. Um, what can you say? How can you dislike a Zenith? It's beautiful. They really make some beautiful stuff. Resale is garbage. The Zenith 50 year of El Primero set will be limited to 50 pieces worldwide at 50,000? Fuck me dead. Who are they fucking kidding? You're joking. $50,000? Fuck me dead. Fuck me dead. 50,000. What does it look like, this fucking thing? See that? I hear, what the fuck is this? Which one is the 50th? It's very confusing, this article. That is it? I don't know. Fuck. Do they not? 50th anniversary. 50,000 fucking dollars. Hello. Starchy. Which one is the 50th anniversary El Primero they're talking about? I can't work uh, it out. It's, it's a new 50. It's a 42 millimeter one, I think. But... No, they're saying it's 37 mil, but I don't think it is. It looks like a tricolor. I'm pretty sure it's a tricolor. Yeah, I got it on my you... screen. Hmm. Are you all alone? Yes. Yes. Good dear God. Dear God, where where is the team? Where's the A team? I know. It's okay. How are you, Mark? I'm lovely. What are you eating? I can't see you. Pistachios. Mm. Take the shells off first. Yes. Yes. Mm -hmm. So, Marky. Um, yes. I'm starting to use that outro. I'm doing some recordings today. Oh, oh thank goodness. There was an excellent video, Bear Clooney. Bear Clooney doesn't like you for some reason. I don't know why. No, I know. Yes. I don't, well, because it, I'm good. Because, because I'm better looking than him. It doesn't matter. He's like, I like Bear Clooney. Well, that's good. You're allowed. Some, I'm going to Singapore does. at the end of the month. Yeah. To get a strap for my paddock. Oh, dear. And uh, now, is, gotta, that is that code like you're going to wax your carrot and get a strap for your patek? Is that. I got to tell you, man. Like, I got to yes. tell you, it's um, it's very, very. Um, I think you have a honey over there. Uh, actually, gotta, I actually, I really want to get my strap. To be honest with you, we've got a few super chats here going. Weight loss is a disaster. We'll reboot after Singapore. 50th anniversary limited edition. Fuck me dead. The price is fifty thousand dollars. Are they out of their mind? Bud Dustard. two dollars overseas VC thirty-seven or forty mil grade value fifteen k. I got to tell you, honestly, don't buy that watch. 15K is a lot of money. And a friend of mine got the previous version overseas chronograph. You know what he sold it for? 14 Aussie. 14 Aussie. Do you know I, I uh, saw a, bat, a Batgirl for 22.5? That's ridiculous. But we're talking right? VCs here, Marky. Yes, I know. And I got to tell you, Always go for the larger one, 37 or 41. Always go for the larger, much more saleable. But um, that, That's what she said. Stay away from VC, in my opinion. I don't know what you think, Mark. 
I'm not a great lover of the Holy Grail, the Holy Trinity. I'm, I'm sort of, it's Rolex or shitter or nothing in between. Well, well, I've got a Grand Seiko, I suppose. But uh, Versa, five yeah. bucks. Day in the life of AC3. Fisting punters for cash and buying Patex overseas. TGV taking the train. Four hours a day for his job. Don't worry, I'm releasing a day in the life of Archie Luxury. I just recorded it this morning. You're going to love it, Mark. It's got your outro in it. <laughs> Perfect. I, t I went to a lot of trouble to make that outro. It took me, took me, a, probably took me like 65 seconds. So I'm, I'm glad. That Yankee you... Doodle, two dollars. Would you consider a robot girlfriend only if she had real pubic hair? <laughs> Ew. And uh, and Louis Vuitton heels. Mm. <clears throat> yeah, I, I would definitely. I'd consider anything. Mm. So how are you being, Mark? Talk to me. What's happening? Please talk to well, me. Well, I am still, I am at a monastery. I am on literally on top of a mountain with very little. Oh, sorry. I must apologize. For 50000 you get a big case with three pieces and a factory visit. Great. Sorry. Apologies. There you go. That's yeah, not is. terrible. Food's good. So what have you been up to, Mark? Tell me what's happening. You've been at the monastery? Well, I'm teaching dog training. Mm -hmm. And um, we have about 30 dog trainers from around the world don't reveal all your secrets or else you won't have a job well i'm revealing all my secrets it's just like you on this youtube channel you can reveal your secrets and then the second they grasp what you're saying you just change your mind and tell them to do something completely opposite that's pretty much the secret of your youtube success and and my success in dog training Hi, Arch. How much dollars do you need to visit the U.S.? Well, I need an air ticket. Air ticket's about 1500 bucks, and I need some accommodation. It's about 500 bucks for $100 a day and maybe a little bit of Uber money. Whew, i got to have a drink in a minute because if someone's paid me for a drink, i got to have a scotch. Keep talking, Mark. What is new in your world? By the way, Marky, I just want to say to you... Um, Nice Grand Seiko. You got a Grand Seiko, didn't you? You know, yeah, I did. What do you think of it? Look, I actually love Grand Seiko. Okay. There's a lot of YouTube analytics in that, right? That's why mm. Rodent 2 <laughs> is going Grand Seiko. Yeah, it's, and... getting, it's getting a surprising number of views, I will say that. No. Nah. why I... I didn't buy no, it for that reason. The quality is amazing. I must admit, the Japanese, it's like a Japanese whiskey. They take it mm. to an extreme. But they put the quality into certain areas of the watch and then not other areas of the watch. Sort of like how Rolex used to do when they made everything good, except for they couldn't be bothered with the clasp, you know? Yes. It's a, it's a quirky watch, I will say that. First of they, $2, they, Mark, what is the dumbest dog breed? Very good question. Hmm. Well, according to my good friend Stanley Korn's book, The Intelligence of Dogs, the yes. dumbest breed is the Afghan hound, but I'm not sure I agree with him. However, that, that's, that's what's reputed to be the dumbest dog. I'm just not sure I agree. I, I would like to put up there the Archie bitch. Hmm. I'm just having a, a, I'm having a monkey, a monkey shoulder. This is a, a malt, a malt whiskey. Thought you'd be you, I got to tell you, I really do love you. By the way, you know that. Well, you are uh, you are my idol. I really do love the, you. You are, you are the man who started it all, as far as I'm concerned. Thank the you. The lizard licking of the bottle, the swallowing of the heel. You basically made it okay to be weird and on YouTube. Yes, and I love you for that. I love yes, you. For I'm this. putting a whiskey stone in there to chill it a bit. I got to tell mm. you honestly, man. Don't um, swallow that thing. No, 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 no. Coming. Ooh, yeah, hard yeah. time coming out. Coming out. That's right. I gotta tell you honestly, man. Um, I think Grand Seikos are amazing watches. I don't know whether there's a place in it in my collection, but man, you 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 got a discount on it, didn't you? A bit of one, yeah, yeah. I got a bit of I got a a, a bit of one. Doc BBC two dollars. Mark still in love with the bland Seiko. Be honest. Yes, he is. Um, so here's what I've done. I've come to a monastery, which I think is a very good place to uh, take the vow of poverty and mm -hmm. reflection. So um, I agonized about this before I left for the monastery, but I decided that in a show of poverty and uh, modesty and humility, I would bring only one watch. 
And um, so I, I brought only the Grand Seiko, which means that I'm forced to wear it and only it. And I virtually have worn it for a solid week. I sleep in it. I shower in it. Just I... a very quick hello to Hatsy. Love you, Hatsy. Um, we got Woody New Yorker, two dollars. We flip watches for money. Mark flips for views. And George Gregoria, one dollar. Thank you, George. There. I got to tell you, Mark. You. Um, I think the Grand Seiko itself. They are a fantastic watch. I just. I could have done a Grand Seiko when I was going one brand per watch. Mm. But now, I. Um, I got to be honest with you. My game plan is this: I'm getting the Tudor Black Bay, and I may upgrade to a Rolex not too far down the track after that. Yeah, that Black Bay will not last in your collection. This is my prediction. Yeah, I think you're right. I was talking to Bear Clooney hates Tudor. I like it, and I had that watch. I had the Burgundy Black Bay, and I uh, you had the ETA I, one. I did, and then I sold it, and then uh, a year later, I, I I did a rebuy, and I have it again. Okay. Um, and uh, I, 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 listen, here's the thing. I like it. I just, it just doesn't get a whole lot of wrist time because I have things that are snobbier and snootier and call my attention more. I, and, uh, you know, when I lost that crown, I've got a temporary crown. Yes. Well, you're about to pick it out with a... This is, guys, while, while you're watching Archie right now, uh, be reminded of Mutual of Omaha, Wild Kingdom, when the birds... Open your mouth again, please, Archie when the birds land in the hippo's mouth and pick the parasites and bits of food out from between the teeth. Uh, Archie, Archie, you need a bird to, to like pick your teeth. I do. Know, like carpet beetles. Maybe the carpet mm. beetles could pick your teeth clean. But I, anyway, weirdly, um, here's what's happened. I've, I've fallen deeply in love with the Grand Seiko. I never thought I would. I figured I'd flip it, but uh, I'm mm -hmm. having a wonderful time with it. It is accurate. It is, it's running fast. Are you, do you want to know how fast it's running? How fast? M maybe a tenth of a second a day. Cool. It's ridiculous. It's, for two days, it was dead bang on. And then, mm. then finally, it was like off. But like, mm, not even a half a second, maybe a quarter second. So, but I don't know. How do you feel about that spring drive movement? I'm having a problem classifying it in my head because... It's amazing. It's, it's absolutely amazing. The thing is so fucking... I tell you what, the Japanese, yeah. they are the most meticulous people down. And, and, and I mean, it, it, it's, 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 I, I, I love, have you seen the snowflake dial? You know, the snowflake? Yes. It's, that that's a dial beautiful is dial. amazing. That's a beautiful Mind dial. you, it's, it's a bit of a dress watch and I'm not mm. a dress watch guy, you know, so I don't love it. But uh, I think Ben Seiko's biggest problem is they don't give sensible names. They give it stupid numbering. Like, like, mm -hmm. like. Guys, you've got to remember, right? Americans, Aussies, Westerners, anything more than two syllables is hard. So instead of giving it a 20-digit number, just give it a five-digit or a six-digit. That's about well, it. Um, Omega does the same stupid thing. Omega oh, I, numbers are Who can stupid. remember those fucking things? And JLC does the same thing too. They're fucking like a phone number. <laughs> mm. You know? Yes. But I got to tell you, I, I would like to get a Grand Seiko eventually. I like the packaging. I don't know if you've know the you know you, did you have that 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 special Japanese paper in the box? <laughs> well, many many people called me an idiot in the comments because I was supposed to lift the paper and lift the yes, box out with the yes paper. yes. And I didn't know. You know, this is my first time at the rodeo. I'm not a classy guy, mm. and mm. Uh, Rolex is a lot easier. Rolex has the drop front box, right? It's a clever you idea, just, you know. So I'm used to these drop front boxes. And when, mm. when I couldn't pull that, that front panel down, um, I was filming live. So I started mm. to panic. Uh, you know, you rather than think it through when you're filming, sometimes you just fumble your way through. And that's what I did. Are you there? You didn't rip the paper, did you? No, no, I, I saved the paper. But I just kind of like pulled the paper out, mm. Mm -mm. folded it up and set it aside, and then, and then dumped the contents out, nearly breaking the watch. And, um, <laughs> so I, I criticized Grand Seiko's box quality for being stupid and disorganized. But then, of course, 40, you know, the, the punters are very good when you're stupid about telling you that you're stupid. So, yes, naturally, a couple hundred of them pointed out how stupid I am. <laughs> oh, that's OK. Hey, 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 that's cool. What is else's new with you? Tell me this. Um, I got to tell you, I've, I've, I'm still in a euphoria. I love my 
Patek Philly. The, um, of course you do. You have two Lifetime Achievement Awards now. Two <laughs> Lifetime Achievement. And the thing is, I get to fundle mine every fucking day of the week. I don't need to give it back to Boss Man when I've finished playing with it, okay? I don't have to give mine back to mm. Boss Man. I get to keep and fundle, you know? And... Uh, Yes, I'm, I'm, you're 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 referring you're referring to Rat Number One who who, uh, who yeah he did a review on the Kalise he, he did a review on the the Kalise dial version is super cool yeah. it wasn't the new Kalise it wasn't a five two three one J it was a five one three one J which still a Kalise dial it must have been and he, maybe he gets to play with it, but they're not his. He and doesn't he get it. Oh, with Richard, so fifty dollars and five cents, a so's donation. If I were to buy a woman's watch as a gift, I would choose according to the beautiful model who advertised the brand. Can the team name three female watch brand super model watches? Yes, of course. There's the Cindy Crawford. That's the Amiga. You've got the Nicole Kidman, who's who's an ambassador for Amiga, and uh, you'd have to throw in Elle McPherson and Richard Seuss there. I just happen to have my ladies. I've got no ladies in the house at the moment, but I was fondling these. Uh, this is my ladies' collection. So I've got two Amigas. I've got the small size and medium size. I've got the Cartier Banois, okay, Cartier Banois, and two Rolex. Mr. Seuss, you should be buying your wife. I tell you now, get an Amiga Constellation under a thousand Aussie for a minty example with the chocolate box or a Rolex. That's what you should be doing. The Cartier I got from a very dodgy Brazilian. They don't ever trust those Brazilians. They're really fucking nasty fucking sellers on eBay. The bastard, one of the gold screws broke and the bastard glued it back in. Really? No, I had to get the whole fucking thing serviced, which cost me... Uh, considerable amount, but there you go. That's the the ladies, the ladies ensemble. I'm just waiting for. The problem is, you know, I I let the ladies wear it, and they think they can take it home. I said, lady, I need the watch back, watch back, watch back. I can't just. Yes, you have you. You don't you don't pay them until they give you the watch back. Now, speaking of uh, female supermodels, what what watch would Caitlyn Jenner wear? Uh, look, look. Uh, I, I, I don't watch television. You know this, don't you? Well, Kate Dillon Jenner used to be Bruce Jenner before she transitioned. I see. Well, look, I, I got nothing against the Elbing um, GT community. I love. I got to tell you, I love confused men. Okay, <laughs> I love confused pre-op, post-op men. I got nothing. Uh, look, I got to be honest with you. Anyone's sexuality is their business. I got to tell you the truth. I reckon Daytona, Daytona. Albert no, I just can do it. Caitlyn Jenner. I feel like Caitlyn Jenner would definitely wear a ball watch. Yeah, I got. I got to tell you something. I I love trannies. Okay, yeah, I got you, nothing you, against. Well, you, you, wait, wait, wait! You can't say tranny. We say transgender now. Transgender. But, um, Sorry. Apologies. Did, did, Apologies. Did you not like my joke? She would wear a ball. Watch. Yeah, I, I did. I got it. I got it. I'm just trying to gloss over it because I. I, I want the. Be... I wanted the courtesy laugh. Okay, we've yeah. got two dollars from Steve Camas. <laughs> two dollars from Steve Camasso. I bought a Tudor Black Bay Burgundy last year, and I love it. Me too, Steve. Great watch. Great watch. I, I got stay, the. E I got it. the Stay ETA with it. One. Stay yeah. with it. Agreed. Don't flip it. They're flippable, mm. but don't do it. Don't be like Archie. Archie's going to flip his, and don't I, be like I, me. I did mm. too, and then I bought it back. Yeah. Um. Bear Clooney doesn't like Tudor either. He was very hard on it. But um, well, Bear, Bear Clooney doesn't like me either. So really, no, I don't know why. I said to him, "You're a great guy," but he just he just said you clash. He clashes with you. He's and, got bad taste. That's all. Yeah, but he's, I, a, he's a wonderful man. He's he's a cool guy. He's very cool. I love him yeah. to death. Best 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 mustache on YouTube. Yes. Yeah, he's cool. He's very cool. He's very, very, very cool indeed. And uh, okay. I got to tell you the truth, man. I got to tell you the truth. When it comes to Bear Clooney, he is, uh, he's a top, he's one of my favorites. You know that? I love him. I, I honestly, he's done so much to support me. He's donated. He's, he's been very, very cool. He, he's a cool guy. Now I see, I see Clive Watch Wrangler 
in the uh, in the no, comments. Come section. on, come on, man! What's wrong with Clive? Come what's on, with... Clivey! Don't be a three-year-old. Come on and get in our sandbox with... and play with us. I don't know what's wrong with Clivey lately. I mean, he pulled out of the cut the, the the paddock deal, which I think was a mistake. No, I think that was a good move, and I'll tell you why. Why is that? Because you can't outdo Clive the pontiff. Is... Well, okay, there is that. I think he was being courteous to you. And uh, shouldn't he be courteous to at all times? No, He's he... only a cardinal. You are the fine. But no, look, here's the thing. I think what it is is he would have had to decimate his, his collection. He could do it, but he would have to, he would have to um, tear through a lot of watches to do it. And at the end of the day, that watch intrigued him, but it did not obsess him. However, I do think he's got a little bit of news. Um, yes. he, he, he's in the comments yelling that he, I am not a three-year-old. Clivey, come on. Come on, man. Come on in the room and tell the pontiff yeah, about what you bought. Come on, recently. man. Ring him on. Him on. Tell, Bring him on. Tell, Bring him on. Tell Archie, tell Archie what you bought so I don't have to. Yeah. Yeah. Bring him on. Bring him on, man. I always love Clivers. He's good for a laugh. He's a cool guy. Uh, he's, I love him he's, today. He's, he, has, he has news. He has news. Come yeah. on, Clivey. Yeah. 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 Yeah, exactly. Vincent, yeah, Jim, Jim is in the comments also, and he says, Tan is at Costco. But the Jim, you should come on. Why are you not on? Why are you in the comments, Jim? Shy, on, man. Jimmy. It's like when you come out, you go into the men's locker room, you kind of just could be a bit shy, you know. Well, not me. But uh, I'm, I'm in I got to tell you, it, it, it's, it's like when you're gay, every man assumes that as soon as you tell someone you're gay, they immediately assume that you're trying to win on to them. Hey, hey, it doesn't work like that. You know, they got no yeah, idea. No, it doesn't. You've got to be extremely gorgeous for that exactly, to happen. Exactly. Hey, you, you know what? You, you, you guys out there, don't flatter yourselves. Yeah, but don't flatter yourselves. Exactly. For... Clivers, Clivers. Right. Yeah. We've got votes for Clive. Come on, Clive. Yeah, come on, man. Me. Come on. Just be cool, man. We can't carry this ourselves. You don't understand. I'm, uh, I'm humping and thumping, and the pontiff is drowning. We need you. Exactly, man. Yeah, I was thinking I, I was going to sell the bull. Matt Mulford, $10. Thanks for the email. I just pulled the trigger on a new white gold blue Daytona uh, with the bracelet. Got 16% off at an authorized dealer. It hurt, but it's a real beauty. Matt, as long as you don't sell it, don't flip. He bought a white gold uh, Daytona with the bracelet. I said, man, just just enjoy it, man. So many people, I don't. I think the worst thing this hobby can do is if you know the price of things, you start trading and swapping and flipping. Just just keep what you got, man. Buy Rolex and keep what you've got. That's my honest, honest, honest opinion. So um, I I got to tell you, man. I've um, I got to tell you, I'm so much looking forward to Singapore. There are some nasty cunts there, you know. I had one guy. He said, "Yeah, I want to catch up, Arch. Yeah, yeah." I said, "Well, look, I need to need you to pay for." I need you to pay for me, my 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 sponsor, Dave, and also maybe someone I pick up from four floor four floors of whores. Mm. I got an entourage. You know, is, is that rude to have an entourage? It's a, it's only rude to donate ninety nine Australian cents. cents. Thank you, Jason, Thank you, Jason. One. Thank you so much. Thank it you. all helps. Every cent counts. It's the battle. Even the Australian cents. Especially five dollars from M T Bone Daytona one one six five hundred on the gray market for U S twenty three thousand dollars or the white gold Daytona on Oysterflex new at the A D for twenty eight K. Which price is better to buy gold? I got to tell you, the steel Daytona, the one one six five zero zero, that is the steel. You got to understand this. You cannot wear white gold everywhere. Okay, steel. It's like my paddock. You cannot wear that everywhere. Okay, you cannot Plus, wear. That is a special occasion watch. Uh, Plus twenty eight thousand dollars, and you get a rubber st rubber strap. Mm, I don't like that mm. oyster flex. Is I don't like that oyster flex. Look, I got to be honest with you, man. I'd be looking at pre-owned. Why don't you buy a pre-owned Submariner or a pre-owned GMT that's in solid gold? Right. That's where I'd be going, man. You don't buy new. The dealer is not your friend. The AD is a cunt. The AD is a fucking cunt. Well, actually, he, you can't get that. You cannot get the steel Daytona at an AD. That's kind of no. a problem. But you know what, though? I don't. I, listen, I'm, I know you're going to agree with me here, Archie. I believe the sweet spot in the Daytona right now is two-tone steel bezel, which is what you have. 
Oh, no, I've got the gold bezel. Sorry, two-tone with the gold bezel. Sorry, you mean... That, sorry, yes, that's what yeah. I meant. Not the ceramic. Two -tone, they don't do the two-tone in ceramic bezel. Well, two-tone is, two is the sweet spot for Daytona right now. I, I tend to, and I, I would say the Maserati dial, that's an exo slightly exotic dial. Mm. You know, I was on the this week. Can I tell you a story? This guy, I think the guy was just catfishing me. Is that fishing? What do mm. they call it? Catfishing? What do they call it? What, well, catfishing is what you would do if you pretended to be a pretty girl on okay. uh, Snapchat. They're trying to catfish me by saying, Archie, would you swap your Maserati blue Daytona for a panda? Yeah, they were catfishing you. Okay, and because, I said, because the okay, answer is, yes, you would. Me, send it to me. Yeah, of course, it's worth a couple grand more. It's worth five more grand more. What, what do you reckon? Yeah, you, what do you yeah. reckon? I reckon it's probably, oh, probably eight, uh, five Aussie, eight. Oh, five US, five US. Well, I, you know, you want to buy one at the steel bezel one, right? It's a uh, no, ceramic, ceramic, like, ceramic, ceramic. Oh, ceramic? No, hell, mm. geez, no, those are like 22, 23. You and, and I mean, I said, okay, let's do it. Then he backed out at the last minute. He's called a prick teaser, prick teaser, it's prick teaser. 10, you know? it's, yeah, it's ten thousand dollars more than your watch. Six dollars, Jason. One make five ninety nine. Mark, don't want to be cheap. Well, I'm sorry that I mocked your ninety nine Australian cents, Jason. Thank one, but you, thank you so much for coughing up the extra dollar, 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 dollar dazzlers, dollar dazzlers. I got to tell you, Mark. I got to tell you, Mark, I want to gun zap, gun zap. I love you. Gun zap has made these real funny caricature comparing me to the rodent and rodent Two. gun zap. I got a feeling gun zap may be working at Watchbox because he's actually featured footage that isn't in the TGV video. Oh my, maybe he has a, uh, maybe he's a deep mole. Yeah. So I'm kind of, but I love it. Gun zap. I love you. Gun zap. I'm actually, I tell you the truth, my computer is a bit, the hard disk is full. After I finish this live show, I'm actually going to be compiling a video where I do a live, I'm doing a, a video where I'm promoting Bear Clooney's video and I'm mentioning GunZap. Ladies and gentlemen of the YouTube universe, if you work for Watchbox or you know an employee of Watchbox and you would like to talk to the Archie Luxury channel, under complete immunity, com you know, we will change your name. We will change your gender. Exactly. We will give you witness protection program, but we would like you to contact us at yes. archieluxury72 at gmail.com. Yes. We will assign you a code name of yes. this throat. We, we want to know what you really think of Roden. We want to know how long he's going to last because I'm running a book on it. And we are also want to know, uh, any internal fuck ups where he's lost his temper or just internal gossip we'd like to hear about because we'd we like will to, protect you. We will your protect code you. Name will be your code exactly. name will be Deep Throat. I will, will only reveal, reveal my source if I'm before the CCC, the Crime and Misconduct Commission, and I have to reveal the source. But I will promise you, I will say it under protest. Okay. Now, so, Archie, how much of a super chat would it cost to reveal? Deep Throat's real identity on the live stream. Which we, we can't be done. Can't be done. Uh, well, I see. I just wanted to get you on record committing, committing to that level done. of protection. Yeah, can't, so you can't see, not, done. Even, can't be done. not even not even for $17 Canadian? Not even for a 5170 manual wine paddock chronograph would mm. I do it. Well, now you're lying. Okay, now you're lying. But like anything short of that, you are protected. $2 booster. Would Elite Broadcasting hire Tim Musso? I would do any. I tell you the truth. With Tim Musso, I'm thinking Tim should fucking start his own watch channel because I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to make this offer now. Tim, if you want any help, I'm here to help you free of charge. I reckon what you should do is it's like Digital Rev. They have this Asian British guy who left and he was the star of the show. Go out on your own. Man, you, you'll, fucking, you'll fucking cruise it. You, everyone Listen, loves you in the watch community. Um, I've got a I've got a name for his channel. What do you think yes. if Tim goes out on his own and he calls his channel sixteen centimeters in circumference? Sounds good. Sounds good. I, I, I always think he's talking about his Willie. He's, Tim Musso is such a cool guy. I tell you the truth, I'm still waiting for my autograph pick. I w I'm deadly serious. I am going to frame it in my studio. Yeah. I actually want Hoodinky. Ariel Adams and Tim Drunky. I want the three signed photos in my studio. That's what I do honestly want. 
Ariel Adams is kind of like my hero. And Tim like, Massa, he's too. Cool. Tim's yeah. a good guy. I've only ever... Is... $2. Vin, big day, a couple of massage with TGV. A couple's massage mm. with TGV. i got to tell you guys, I really do... I really do want your help. I, I, I'd help Tim. Tim's a cool guy. I'd help him. I'd help him. I, I think he can do it himself. Just leave the boss man. Do your own gig. You'd fucking fly through it. Okay? Where's Clivey? Why do we, why, where's, where's our Clivers? I think he's got sand in his vagina. We haven't been making him feel special. He is special got a wonderful channel he has a happy he has air conditioning i, I done everything to help that guy and this is how they thank you the fans he's, he's you know? rebooted the weight loss program five dollars george grugia five dollars what are the aussie tax consequences of these super chats curious accountant here well i can tell you exactly what happens because i've just done my tax return any income whether it's a paid review, Google, the, the, the Google money just comes in as Google ads. Okay, it comes in as my Google payment, monthly payment. Um, all income needs to be declared. Simple as that. It's like any job. Yes, yes. There's nothing yes, different but. about Google money. You just need well, to, true. you just declare it. Um, but George, but George, we write off our expenses, okay? So you see the booze that Archie is swigging. He's doing it purely for entertainment purposes. So we write off the stock. Exactly. You know the, do you know the, the Louis Vuitton heels he sticks down his throat? He yes. writes off all eBay fees. Do you know that the carpet beetles, he actually gets to write off his carpet, all his shirts, the torn up underwear, the, the bacon yeah. egg. When, yeah. when, Archie, when Archie goes looking to, to bangers and he goes looking for Nana Kim and he makes 15 videos, you think he's doing it for Google ad revenue? No, it's it's so that he can actually write off, so that he can actually write off his prostate exam. Exactly. No rubbers. Two dollars. I suspect PP is a TGV spy. You heard me, PP. I, I watch all of I watch all of his stuff. I watch all of his stuff. Because he steals my stuff, I steal some of his stuff. It's the way it works, sunshine. The governor. Where did that come from? That's my line. Hey, Marky, are you there? Yes, indeed I am. I got to tell can you, 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 can, you got to know you. to be, I, I must admit, having TGV in as a nemesis, you, you cannot achieve true greatness without a nemesis. You know that? No, but you know what? Batman needs his Riddler. <laughs> exactly. Exactly. Now, let me think if, uh, what superhero really are you? Not quite Batman. I don't think you'll fit in the suit. So... Let's think. What, what, you know, if you were a superhero, who would you be? The Hulk. Mm, yeah, it's a good point. Yeah. I'll just, I'll just eat some bad, cheap seafood. <laughs> bad seafood. Because I still, you know, that could, that could do it. Ooh, 20 pounds. Neil, us, 20 pounds. Hi, Arch. Wanted to say thanks for my collection review. Neil from London. Thank you very, very much. Thank you, Neil. So, Marky. Yes, sir. Can you hear tell me? Tell me this. What is the plans? Are you? Would there be any Pateks coming? Can I ask you that? Can I get you into a Patek? Mm. The, there's only one I like. I never remember its reference number. It's that pilot watch. Ah, uh, the Calatrava pilot. The, uh, I don't know. Marky. Got a, you, you never really wanted a paddock? Never. You know what? They're, they're, they're dressy. They're delicate. Um, everything I own gets dropped or scratched or bumped or, you know, I'm, I'm, I don't, and I, I don't wear a suit and I wear jeans and t-shirts and everything is nothing. Everything needs to be steel and sporty and robust. Okay. Yes. I'm probably I'm the least a, sporty no. person you know. Well, yes, but you're avaricious and greedy and snobby and uh, egotistical, and therefore Patek really works for you. You know yes. what? You're not, yes. you're not, you don't really own a, a Patek. In your case, you're actually stealing it from the next generation. Yes. 
<laughs> you know, you're spending your children's inheritance. You're busy worrying about your inheritance, spending your children's inheritance. But this, so that's why Patek is really your style. It, it sort of makes you a captain of industry. And um, I'm, I not horologically, I'm not horologically worthy. And I'm not quite avaricious enough. So, you know, it's not my thing. But the pilot's watch. The pilot's watch was... Mark's amazing. thinking of the 5524. There you go. Look at that. George Gregorio. The 5524. That's correct. That's the Calatrava Pilot Patek. It's, um, that could be perfect for you. The pilot... It's a travel yeah, but it, time, actually. It's yeah, a travel yeah, time yeah. as well. I, I love it. And it's like 40 grand. See, I, I prefer the 5134 when you're talking travel times. I love that. It's got crown guards. It's in a precious metal. Manual wine, which is a bit of an oddity for a complication. And I love that. I, I'd love to get a 5134. That's a Calatrava kind of. It's, uh, anyhow, Marky, I want to ask you this. Um, when's mm. Jin Tangler? Is he coming on? What's Jin doing? No, well, I saw him there in the com in the in the comments. Yeah. I know he, I know he loves you because I'm sure you read WhatsApp. He's got yeah. very complimentary things yeah. to say about you and your channel, and he loves you. And Vin Vin to... saying a five one three four G with Breguet numerals is cool. Yep, yep, I tend See, to agree he, there. He he and Tan and you. Uh, yeah, know we your, love know paddocks. Your, you, people know your you know your Patek. You love. Yeah, but your you don't like paddocks. There's no point. You 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 don't need to know. Listen, it. You don't like listen. It. That's right. Here's the thing. Rolex fuckers only. Rolex. 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 I don't really know my Grand Seiko numbers. Neither hey. do I. Uh, I. Neither do I. Because I don't like too many of them. No. But, um, no. but my no, no. my watch is is accurate to within one tenth of a second per day. It's re it's ridiculously accurate. So you think the spring drive movement is okay? It's not a soulless piece of crap like a pure quartz movement would be? It's an amazing piece of technology. Mm. It's amazing. No, no, it seriously, a... no bullshit. It is fucking amazing. You... Yeah, I'm glad, to, I'm glad to know that because I'm easily influenced, particularly by you, and I need uh... to be nudged in the direction of, of, of appreciating that movement for what it is. Instead of having an escapement, it has two electromagnets. That yes. uh, that regulate the speed of the um, exactly the balance it's, wheel. It's, it's absolutely incredible technology. If the Swiss did it, it would be, it would just be hailed, you know. But it's it's the Japanese, and you know, for, Seikos are all in house. You know that everything is in house with them. Yeah, even the crappy ones. But this is not a crappy one. Yeah, yeah. But Lewis but, Lewis Hall, the, the 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 spring drive movement has a mainspring. And it has wheels and it has gears. So it is, um, it, it has many, many elements of, Look, a, uh, of, a, of an automatic movement. I gotta tell you. And it has a couple elements. Oh, Clive is here. Clive, we we missed, missed you, man. Yeah. What happened? We did. Huh? What? We missed you. We missed you, man. Wake up, Clive. I've been tired. It's been a tough week, Paul. Tell me about it. $10 from Super Steel 75. $10. Just purchased a Rolex one six six one three black face box papers. That's the Submariner. Submariner. Submariner pre ceramic. Two tone. Uh, for twelve thousand dollars, I assume Australian from yeah. Watchtime Melbourne. What do you think? What is that American? Uh, it's about eight or nine. Hmm. I don't well, know. Eight I would be okay. Nine would be a little. <sighs> See, I don't know. Is, is black face really acceptable today or not? Look, no, definitely not. But in a watch dial, it's okay. He meant dial. I, I got to be honest with you. I think it's probably not bad buying. It's uh, twelve thousand. It probably doesn't have gold in the class. Um, that, that, that's the money. That is the going money. Okay, that is the going money. Okay, yes, it is. That is the go. That's actually not terrible. That's not terrible, as long as it's reasonably okay. That, that, that's 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 actually pretty cheap buying. From a dealer. If it's not if it's not polished to shreds, yeah, some of the yeah. because those watches are twenty years old and some of well, them have been that's polished. right, that's right. They're from the sort of the the nineties, actually eighties, 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 nineties, noughties, isn't it? Yeah. Well, well, and, and also, right, but right early, early. Mm -hmm. 
some of those uh, one six six one threes are starting to purple up though too. No, this is some a black of them are blue. Yeah, it's a black one. Are... But the thing is, of course, the previous model was the sixteen eight zero three. So that came out. No, Mark, it, it, that, that's the cutoff because that's the previous model before the 1680. So 16803 was the two-tone, with the, with the, that was the first sapphire. Then it became 16613, which I think, when, when did that have? That came about mid, mid like late, 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 late 80s, late 80s, late 80s, late 80s, not 90s, well, 80s, sorry, 80s, 80s, 80s. They, they, are, and they are, ran all the way up are, to early like 2000, are, 2001, fifth yes. fist watches. Fist watches, two dollars is a thirty-one millimeter Rolex, the best fit for TG these four-inch wrists. If it fits, wear it. If it fits, wear it. I must say that date, the, the day date he's wearing looks too big because you can see the class po poking through his wrist, chicken wrists, chicken drumstick hmm. wrists. It looks terrible. It looks absolutely fucking terrible. Well, Clyde Z, what do you think of a nice two-tone? Yeah, what's going on? How are you doing, Clydesy? Uh Actually, someone just sent me a, a Grand Seiko. Mm. To keep what, or to wear? To wear. What is it? To review, actually. It's not a date watch. Mm -hmm. I know how you think. No. <laughs> and and, his, and it's a Japanese edition. It's manual wind. Yep. And um, I can get, pull out the reference number, but, you know, Here's here's well, the thing. Don't... Oh wait, super chat. Five bucks, Carlos SS five dollars. Loved Archie's Patek versus Lange today's video. Keep up the good work. Thank you, thank you very much. And all the boys in uh, in Germany there at the A Lange and Sun headquarters. Fuck you, you lousy cunts. <laughs> and um, the one I've got. Shit, I'll have to pop the goddamn. Uh, it's like uh, it's thirty. It's a little over thirty-seven, but it wears bigger. And I have to admit, I re I really like the damn thing. Mm, all of we're becoming Grand Seiko buddies here, Clyde Z. Well, yeah. Well, not all of them. I mean, not every Rolex is a winner, and not every Grand Seiko is a winner. But this one, and, and call me. I'll pull up the reference number, but call me crazy. But I think the damn thing looks like a Calatrava. I think they were definitely going after a Calatrava vibe. Get it going. Mm -hmm. Very cool. That can't be bad. Uh, no, it's actually... Ladies and gentlemen, I'm so sorry work. to interrupt, but I must leave you. With, but I think it's perfect that you're He's here, Clyde. I'm so sorry. I know. I'm sorry to leave you alone. But I'm at a monastery, and I have monk duties to, to perform this evening. I need to clean the urinals with my toothbrush. Exorcism. You need to do an exorcism. A I bad, to, uh, unruly dog. I, I might need to drink a glass of red wine with my friend, the, the monk. And um, You've got yes, a few nasty uh, bitches to contend with. We, we, we sort of do. If those of you who'd like to know where I am, Google monks of new skeet, S-K-E-T-E. -E. I will put it in the comments. Thank you, Marky. I love you. Love you, love and you, you take too. care. You take care. Clive, i got to tell you, what else have you bought? I heard you bought something. Uh, I'll talk about it later on. Anyway, it's an SBGW235. It's a Japanese model. That's the confusing thing with Grand Seiko. They use these fucking... They don't use a name. You, you know, it's just an it's SBG... Like, it's, da, it's, da, 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 da. it's like buying a dishwasher at Best Buy. Yes, yes, but it's super finely done, you know. Dishwasher's a best buy. Well, it depends which one you get, really. Like the Japanese Grand Seiko. That's re it's like buying a Bosch dishwasher. Okay, the proper German one. Uh, let me see if I let me see if I can pull up the reference number. So maybe I can do a screen share on it. But I have to admit, especially for the money, it is nice. Would now uh, tell me this? I gave you a hard time because have you bought something substantial? I want big money. No, I have not. There you go. Okay. Why don't you buy an apartment, Clive? <sighs> I know it's, it, it's, it's, there's no point to buy when you can rent so cheap, but Clive, you just have a place that's yours. You got no landlord. Oh, you don't, they really don't sell apartments. It's condominiums. Okay. 
Okay. The ones that are for sale, I'd have to travel further. I'd have to pay more rent. And guess what? You ha generally you pay homeowners fees, or some sort of home fucking homeowner. Yeah, body corporate. Yes, yes, I understand. Of course you do, because they do. Yes, you do, but at least you own the fucking thing. Pursuant to the homeowners fees. If you had some brains, Clive, why don't you suck up to Hotsey? She owns a house now. Uh, actually, you pissed Hotsey off for me, so thanks, thanks, buddy. Okay, sorry about that. I'm no, sure we you're... can. I'm sure we can reel her back in. Ah, uh, shit! I don't even know if it's worth the trouble. I gave her a wrench. You, you did. Then again, everyone's. She's become quite the. She's become quite the thing. She's on everyone's channel now, basically. Michael and Tony, two dollars. I bet Clive got another shat just. Okay, here we go. Oh, very classic elegance to that, isn't it? It's manual wind as well. It's manual wind as well, and it is, yeah, it is a pretty goddamn watch. Okay, to me, what size? 37.2, but it wears bigger. And what's the, um, what era is it from? What? How old is it? Modern. Current model? I think it's current model, but it's only Japanese. What does it retail for? Uh... Jeez, I'm still trying to figure that out. It's a little differently since it's not really sold here directly, mm -hmm. but it looks somewhere between four and five. But but really, for what you're getting, it's actually decent. Michael, Antonio, the two dollars. I no longer think Clive deserves to be on the AC3 stream. Yes, he does. I'd oh, die. Okay. I would die without Clive. I, I need, I need, I need. You need sidekicks. I need a few sidekicks. Tell me how accurate. How accurate is this Grand Seiko? I don't know just yet. Literally, I. The guy who was wearing it was Asian, so I literally and fortunately sent on the links. Yeah. But it took a while just to from <laughs> watch it to put all the damn links in. But I have. I must I mean, admit, it is a bit cheesy. Like that kind of jubilee looking bracelet is a bit cheesy. Beads of rice. Comfortable. Yeah. Well, it's kind of like a, it's like an oyster crossed with a jubilee, isn't it? You know what I mean? Yes. It's a bit cheesy, cheesy, it's and a bit, it's a bit, it's a bit transitional. I thought you'd like it. I, I, I do on a leather strap, but well, actually, I, I, okay, I get it, I get it. Fuck, I like the blued second hand. Michael yep. Antonio, two bucks. Clive, even Arch owns a place. Well, I don't. I rent as well. Belongs to the ex-wife. But houses are very dear where I live. Houses are fucking five hundred thousand dollars. It's four hundred American for a house. They're very fucking dear. Houses are ridiculous. Uh, you can't tell another man what to do with his money. I I can advise Clive, but Clive is his own man. When it's his, when it's my money, I can do what the fuck I want with it. I gotta say the Opaline dial, very classic. I like the sword hands, you know, with my Patek. The sword yep. hands are very, very important feature. I'm no, just gonna... I think they're trying to go after a Calatrava look with it. With the, the only thing I don't like, the, ha the stick markers seem to be a different color than the sword hands, or are they the same? That's just the lighting. I think it's just the lighting, but but also my the one I've got's a little bit different. I don't think there's actually I don't see the little hash marks, and and you want to talk about a clean dial though. This yeah. one doesn't have the hash marks, and it's just the G GS insignia and Grand Seiko. That's it. I gotta say, I like it. I like it. I like it. Yeah. John uh, Rambo, two dollars. Looks jingly jangly. Okay. But actually, I mean, compared to an Oyster Perpetual for less money, uh, shit. I mean, if it was twenty. And you know, I love the white dial OP thirty nine. Yes, but, you do, you do. But on the yeah. other hand, yeah. And, and the only bad, other bad thing is, it only has a water res. It doesn't have a screw down crown, so the water resistance is like fifty. So you want to be careful if you wear it to the urinal. Yes, yes, I understand. But you don't wash your hands anyhow. So what difference does that make? No, when you when you make sure there's no splashback. Oh, splashback, of course, because you don't wash your hands afterwards. You're a bachelor. Uh, well, no, actually, I do wash my hands. Okay, the joys of Rolex. 
Um, okay. The clasp, look, it, it does look a bit cheesy, I must admit. A little bit cheesy. But um, well done. And uh, how long you got it for? You know, he didn't really say. I'll probably wear it for a couple of weeks, do a review, and then send it back. He wouldn't let you keep it? No, I don't like, like sending a, things like a, back. It's like a four or $5,000 watch, man. So? <laughs> it's, no, it, you know, if, okay. no, <laughs> that is, no, that's just wrong. Now, you got a better microphone today. What's happened? What are you using? I'm on the little, I'm on the little miniature MacBook in the living room. Okay. It doesn't sound too bad. Also, it's a slightly newer computer. I've been working on the Mac Pro trying to, and I've got that almost up to stuff. Okay. So, Clivers, um, I've got to say to you, is there any other Pateks coming? I want to get a big Patek for you. No. Okay. You've already got an Aquanaut. Right. The Royal you, paid, Aquanaut. you paid him. You paid him for that. Right. And the shop who had the five nine six zero, have they still got it or it's sold now? Well, I still think I think I'm trying to, I'm hoping James Reeson will make a play for it. Okay. I thought he only buys new. That one is almost like new. It's literally like worn three times. Okay. Okay. I don't even know James Reeson. You know that? Well, do any... Oh, wait. I guess I'm still on. Well, do any of us really know anybody? Do I really know you? No. RJ Lane, $2. That Grand Seiko design... Is gratuitously retro. Yes, it is. 1960s. I'm thinking Toyota Corolla. Toyota Crown! Remember the Toyota yeah. Crown? But it's not cool retro like Paddock is cool. It's kind of... To me, it looks like it's copying the Calatrava. I mean... <laughs> Sorry, I'm just yeah. not feeling... Yeah, no, you're not feeling well. What's wrong, man? Tired. It's been a rough week. You know, some of us have these things called cool. jobs. Jobs, Steve jobs. Camasso. Hey, Clyde, put the rubber B B strap on the Seiko. That could be an idea. Wouldn't be bad. I mean, it's actually for the money. I think it's a nice little watch. What size end links is it, Clive? The for the strap. Uh, I'll have to go look. Literally, I've mm -hmm. had it on my wrist for a couple hours. Okay. Okay. Um. Any other movements with watches? Any other things that are happening? Tell me this. No. Keeping my powder dry and looking. Selling off Rolex. You're selling off Rolex? Yeah. You're selling off Rolex still? Why is that? The ones I just fallen out of love with, just get out of them. Uh, you're falling out of love, man. This isn't a fucking a relationship. This is a thing you have forever. Nope, $2. 30th birthday coming up. Double one four zero six zero for first luxury watch. That's the no-date ceramic sub. You betcha. Grab it with both hands. Paul B, $1. Thank you. Yeah, 30th birthday. I reckon a no-date ceramic sub is an ideal watch. Yeah, but oh, the trouble here's the trouble is though, you know they're going to have to update the sub. They gotta at some point. That design is so. Oh, what uh, did you hear about um, on Instagram? Apparently, no. Uh, Bark and Jack got to have a nice little uh, lunch. You got some, with uh, some executives from Rolex. Cool. Yeah. And. Well, I think they're. I don't want to spoil someone else's channel, but um, the the thing is, though. I'm so, okay, it's it's like right now, it's like buying an iPhone. Yeah. Because if I, you know, I'm about ready to pay the uh, X off, mm. the iPhone X off, and of course it means you know I'm thinking about just holding on to that one, using it as a spare, and getting another one. But if I get if I get the iPhone XS right now, I'm a fucking that's that's you're a fucking moron to do that because 
I got to tell you, I don't want to be in bed with any executives, whether it's Rolex, Patek, or anyone. If I want to have a cheap lunch, I'll buy my. I'll get a fan to buy me lunch. I want to say when a watch is shit, I want to say it's shit. When I don't like it, I want to say I don't like it. I don't want to be in bed with anyone. Tanzil, five dollars. AC three, you've committed blasphemy and adultery against the five one zero seven by stating that the five two nine six is better. Nick's folks said it was the ultimate dress watch. Yes, he said that before the 5296 came out, Tan. Bursa, $2. Grand Seiko, perfect watch to stalk cheerleaders. Yes, yes. And kayak sailing, here we go. What did you do, Archie, to pee off Hatsy? I, I was drunk and... It, it was I, Archie. I didn't say... I, I, I wish Hatsy and Clive the best of luck. Anyway... <laughs> Booster pee off. That was yeah. Anyway, uh, what are we talking about? We're okay, talking, yeah. Okay, Ro Submariner. They've got to be updating the Submariner soon. They've got to be updating updating it. And I think this it might be as early as next year. If AC you three ten dollars from Tanzil. Tanzil ten dollars. AC three the five one nine six and five two nine six wear large because of the. Two lug length as well as the strap size you mentioned. 5196 is almost 47 mil lug to lug, which is the same as the Submariner. Thank you. Thank you. 5196 is a sexy, cool watch. I could do one of those in rose gold because I've got the white yellow. I'd love to have a rose gold third Patek. That'd be ultimate combo, combo meal deal. Hunger Buster, Clive, Hunger Buster. So, okay. So you want to get a third protect while convincing people on your channel that you're broke as focused and that you need their help urgently. Exactly. Okay, am I part of some sort of psychological experiment? Because I didn't sign any goddamn release forms. Oh, okay. No worries yeah. there. Yeah, um, my, the tenuous hold of my sanity is starting to slip a little bit when I hear you make statements like that. It's like, is he fucking serious? Yes. Yes. I got to tell you, seriously, guys, I um, I don't want to climb into bed with anyone. You think I haven't had offers to climb into bed with people? Tanzil, five bucks. AC3, please let us know your thoughts on the Bear Clooney video about the rat. That is the greatest video, Bear Clooney. I, I, haven't, I haven't seen it yet. I'm actually going to be posting it to my channel very soon. Bear Clooney has given me exclusive permission to repost it. And I will be sharing that with my audience. So uh, I want to say that's the way it goes. He was giving me a heads up about it earlier. I, just, I was getting ready to watch it. Then you came on. No, it's okay. Clive, let's wrap it up. This has been, we've been on for over an hour. I want to say thank you for coming on today. I'm coming back tomorrow. Have some sleep today. Come back tomorrow, okay? You no, know, I mean, I swear to God, every, it's, yeah, the, I, I keep getting woken up by a goddamn thunderstorm at like four in the morning. Literally, a, a, a lightning, a thunderclap right above, right above my place. I'm like, in New York, of five bucks. Clive says he's had a rough week, and then we see him make five vids a day from his office. Uh, yeah, nine okay. of the day. That's okay. Clive can do whatever he wants. He's a grown man, and he can bitch about it on my channel. That's fine. I have no problems with that. Guys, I also want to make an offer going just very quickly. I have another letter I'm releasing today. I am releasing a letter. This time, you need to super chat. You need to super chat a key amount. You need to super chat $5, $5.99. Okay. Oh, did you see Crappy Luxury's Rolex video? No, not yet. I'll go and check that out. Provincial Gentry, $2. Wrap this up like TGA's father did. Okay, guys, tell you this now. $5.99. Actually, let's make it, let's make it, what's it more affordable? $2.99. $2.99 now, and you get a copy of the email where TGV said he would discard all his friends for a gold submariner. Come on, guys. Two ninety nine. Let's drive the traffic. Two ninety nine, and I will send you a copy 
of the correspondence I had with the rodent. This correspondence is normally confidential and in secret, but I will be releasing it for a well, one time only. Didn't Gov Berg actually try to get in touch with you a few times? No. How do you know that? We talk. What? We talk. Who talks? We talk. Well, who do you think would give me inside information on Gov Govberg? It was it was you never really keep up on the on the chat, do you? Okay, so what did he say? He wants to get in touch with me. I'll I'll reach out to him again. Okay, get get with Tanziel. Okay, because I've already sent I sent another message yeah. Oh, to yeah. 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 I, we, yeah, we heard about that one. Yeah. Did that go over well? I'll you talk to Tanzil about that one. I'll put it I'll just leave it that way. Okay. That's okay. That's okay. Right, so, now, right now there's there's like a file in his office and with your name on it and there's a big red stamp saying not a team player. Who's that? You. How do you mean I'm not a team player? <laughs> Does not get along well with others. It's like your report cards from from uh, grade school. For who? Who doesn't get on with others? You. But I'm not asking for a job, am I? Why does it matter? <laughs> well, I was thinking about that because if Govberg was reaching out to you, mm -hmm. why wouldn't you like uh, do some sort of collaboration with Govberg or I, I, I'm happy to. I'm happy to. I'm happy to. But I, I don't. I'm not want to be bought out. I'm my own man. I'm my own man. I do my own thing. I don't need a boss. I don't need to wake up at four a.m. I wake up at eight or nine o'clock every day. I don't need I wake, to. I wake up at four a.m. because there's a thunderstorm. Do they not I, have thunderstorms? I wake up at four a.m. because someone's playing with my privates and they're on the hour. Ugh. Oh, that's right. I guess grandmothers don't sleep very much. <laughs> Guys, two ninety nine. Is anyone gonna buy it? No one's bitten yet. Look at this is a disaster. You see, uh, I think you, you could have worked on the marketing a little bit better. Who? You. For what? Marketing for what? Well, you, you you leave it nice and general and vague. Salacious emails of an embarrassing uh, correspondence from TGV. So what? It's called a fucking business. Do you understand business? And who watches my crappy channel anyhow? Five dollars, Tanzil. Well, I'll let you read it. Five dollars from Tanzil. AC3, as a rail advocate, please tell us how much you love American railways that Clyde in enlisted Ving's great grandpappy to build in the late 1800s. No, those are Chinese. Things Korean. Very well done. Okay, so well, okay, no worries, guys. Please just super, just uh, PayPal two ninety nine to Archie Luxury seventy two at gmail dot com, and I will send you more juicy correspondence. This is where the rodent makes reference to my gold, gold submariner. It's a very interesting bit of a conversation. I normally don't release it, but I'll be doing it as a once-off only, never to be repeated again. Never to be repeated again. Take advantage of my need for cash and read all the gory, juicy details. That's the way to sell it. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. A bit of marketing there never hurt there. It's... Uh, um, Yeah, marketing, it's not like having a real job, so. No, 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 that's exactly it. You know, that's just how it goes, isn't it? It's, um, that's just, that's that's it, man. That's it, that's it. you got to do, man's got to do what a man's got to do. It's all cool there. It's all cool. It's all, we're going well. We're going well. So, um, it's all fantastic. i got to tell you that, man. It's all, everything is great. Yeah, but I have to admit, I mean, do I like all Grand Seikos? No. I think the one that Craig Ship and Mark has are ugly, but there's certain ones I think that might be look, worth looking at, and uh, I'll be, like I said, playing with this with a smaller one, this manual one, one for a couple of weeks, but so far the initial impressions are pretty damn good. I see. 
I see. That's very interesting to hear that. Uh, here's actually, uh, maybe not the best picture, but I'll see. I think I can probably share this one. Actually, yeah. on the wrist. Oh, fuck. I am. I've just been so. I've been like catnap. I mean, I've been falling asleep. If I'm not in court. You're joking. No, if I'm not in court, it's just just it's sleep deprivation, really. Now, can you see that or not? Yes, that looks very sexy. It really does. Fuck me. Actually, I mean, yeah, that looks much better. It looks because I I, did, I thought the the indices were different to the hands, but that was yeah. just the lighting, you know. And uh, the dial is a little bit darker in this one, which I kind of like. Opaline, I think. Yes. So they're trying to give it, you know, so it's very much a kind of a vintage, a vintage feel, but Seiko, they're not above totally ripping somebody off. I think they're, I think they're copying the Calatrava with this design or, or let me put this way, mm -hmm. very, very strong homage. I've got like an, I've got one from the seventies and they, they just ripped off the 16, we're all like 1655 big time. And that's what's kind of, it's like, they didn't give a fuck. Yes. I know what you're saying, but does that is that wrong? Everything old is new again, Clive. I don't know. It's, it's another word. Yeah, well, pick one. Pick a winner. Winner, winner, chicken dinner. And it's all the hormones in the chicken. Hormones. That's exactly it, Clive. Ch chick fillet, chick fillet. That's where you go, isn't it? Hmm. No, actually, I've, you know, actually, no, uh, actually, Hotsi really likes Chick Fil A. She, she puts it um, chicken with chicken served up with homophobia. Oh, I see. I yeah. see. Yeah, they really toned it back, but they used to be so anti-gay. It's not even funny. Mm. Wow, that's amazing. Because I, really. I, I do like gay men. You know that, but I do like oh, yeah. chicken. I do yeah. like. I do like chicken even more, but that's the problem. Chicken cooked in oil. It'd have to be oil, but, you know. And breaded. Well, you know, the reason, you know, you can actually thank white Southerners for fried chicken. Yes, 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 yes. You know the story of that because they, they needed to, it needed to last when they were walking between gigs. In portable, yeah, because they didn't, yeah. And with Jim Crow and segregation, they didn't know when they'd be able to get to the next restaurant or the next hotel. Exactly. So they needed chicken that they could take with them, easy, easily portable. Yes. Yes. All right. Okay, man, we better wrap it up. Coming on tomorrow. Would you come on tomorrow, please? All uh, right. The show sinks without you. Uh, okay, we've got a oh, sorry, super chat. Super One super chat I missed, Tanzi or $5. AC3, why don't you do a video from... That park that you used to frequent and got video bombed by kookaburras at. Okay, I might do oh, that. Okay, yeah. You know, actually, and why don't you do more parking lot videos? Frank mm -hmm. Kawasaki, you know, used to be a longtime fan of the channel, but he left because he quit doing parking lot and vending machine videos. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Thank you, guys. We're going to wrap it up. The super chats are stopping, so there's no point in me staying on here. Is there to business, Clive? Yeah. Not at all. Okay. Okay. Thank you, guys. Love you all. Be joining us tomorrow. Same place, same channel. Button pressed now. Jesus.